Hey, welcome to Metroid 2 Return of Samus! Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, it's the next, it's the next, you know, game of the Metroid series. It says Metroid 2 right there. It's, it came out the year I was born. That's adorable. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. yeah, it's Metroid 2. It was released for the Game Boy. It's basically, uh, Samus coming back for more fun and that she's got new abilities and all that. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Yeah. Oh, wow, her sprite. She big. Yeah, this, this game is certainly, uh... <laughs> certainly got some problems to it. Yeah. Uh, Samus's sprite is very big, the, the, and the Game Boy screen is very small. Oh god, look at it! And it's, it's, it's worth noting that her Metroid 2 sprite is bigger than her NES sprite. She huge! I mean, she, I mean, she's very detailed and she looks very nice. And if I were having, a, if I had a Game Boy 1991, this would be a pretty cool, pretty <laughs> cool game. But it's the, the navigation is just kind of off. It's it's just. Hey, uh, uh, I, I'm kind of trying to remember what was her actual height with the suit via the manual. Oh, she tall. Yeah, she tall. She girl. tall. She's she's very tall. She's like what six uh, six foot five naturally, and then. She is even taller in the suit, like an extra two feet. So we already have Morph Ball here. Oh, that's cool. Worth noting. I like that. We already have missiles, too, so we've, we've uh, retained a few things. Well, I should hope so. Didn't we, like, just leave our Zero mission? Shouldn't we have, like, power bombs? Oh, well, you see, that's the thing. After Metroid 1 uh -huh. is all of Prime. Oh! All of Prime takes place between Metroid 1 and Metroid 2. That really? That includes 1, 2, 3... Uh, hunters and Federation Force. Seriously. Seriously. And then, and then, and then this, and then two, and then Super, and then other M, um, and then, and then uh, Fusion, Fusion, and, and then now Dread, Dread, which was supposed to be the finale to the Metroid <gasps> Saga. Not exactly the Metroid series, the just the saga fate of the Metroid. Because I, I think that's the reason why there haven't been so many Metroid games. They've written, they write themselves into a corner oh, yeah. every time. Oh, and so shit. the Metroids are destroyed forever! T until the next time, <laughs> goddamn! <laughs> there was one secret left. Oh, Somebody fuck. kept it as a purse pet. Why do they keep making these things? Don't they know they're bad? <laughs> What is the point of keeping a Metroid? You can't take it to the dog park. Ugh. It'll suck the life out of all the other dogs. Yeah. Is that water? Yeah, I, th I think so. Okay, cool. So you are here on uh, planet SR388. Yep, uh, explain the plot, please. The birthplace of the Metroids. This is where the Kozo basically uh, used to live, and they made Metroids to stop the X-Parasite. Mm-hmm. But uh, as we all know, the Metroids uh, went kind of went rogue, and they just they don't eat just the X parasite; they eat fucking everything. <laughs> Oops. So they abandon this place, and uh, well, him and ha. You see, that's the thing. We're gonna be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we don't talk about that. Oh my God, a Metroid! But now the Metroids are hatching and evolving. Oh, Ew. God, yeah, you, whoa, Ew. Whoa, 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 whoa. oh, kill it, please. Right, uh, kill it, please. Uh, uh, Use uh, your missiles, uh, please. Missiles. I've got like, Use your missiles, uh, please. I'm using them. Uh, kill the fucking I'm thing. I'm trying to. Uh, Would you uh, please uh, kill I'm the Metroid? Kill it. Uh, uh, You're like uh, a health lab. So, uh. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> that was like a DOS death. <laughs> she got just erased. Well, that was Metroid 2 Return of Samus. See oh, that's it. It, that's it? That's just a one-shot? Yep, see you next time. Oh, well, no, 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 no. Because apparently, according to HowLongToBeat.com, it takes, like, what, five hours to beat this Game Boy game? Five hours? Yes. Oh, come on. Because we got 39 Metroids to take out, and it's, like, five hours, so, uh... Do you want to do something more fun? Yeah, I want to do something more fun. Okay, let's do something more fun. Let's do the remake! Yeah, this, this is what you're talking about, right? Ooh! I, I mean, it's the title of the video, so, I mean, no use being coy now, but, uh, yeah, welcome to Metroid Samus Returns! We're gonna do a 100% run of this now. On a fresh new cart, no less. Fresh new cart? That's how you treat my save file? <laughs> it, had, it had two hours on it in normal <laughs> mode, 10%, and you only had 10 Metroids. Okay, yeah, you, you, you got me. So a new file will be created! Let's do it. Now let's have the actual game give us some actual lore. In the year 20 XT5 of the Cosmic Calendar... A Galactic Federation research team discovered an unknown life form on planet SR-388. 
Though they were able to successfully obtain a living sample, their research vessel was attacked by space pirates during their voyage home. Oh, those space pirates. This attack was no coincidence. The space pirates had set their sights on these mysterious organisms called Metroids. They planned to replicate the sample and exploit its ability to absorb the energy of any life form. It's not going well, is it? Their intention was to use Metroids as a weapon, one powerful enough to, uh, one powerful enough to conquer the entire galaxy. Super Metroid theme, if you're in the back of me. I love it! To combat this threat, the Galactic Federation dispatched the lone bounty hunter to infiltrate the space pirate base on planet Zebes. They sent one person to get the space pirates? Yeah, that was Samus, and she kicked ass! Yeah! <laughs> Look at that Metroid on fire! <laughs> hey, oh, whoa, yeah! You take that, you big-ass brain! Whoa! <laughs> now you just sound like Mother Brain from Captain <laughs> N. <laughs> oh, hello, baby! Don't you shoot no <laughs> missiles into my eyeball! That hurts! Seymour! <laughs> <laughs> so the Federation are like, oh shit, Metroids, those are bad shit! We gotta go find more of those things and kill them all! So let's do it! A special squadron of elite soldiers from the Galactic Federation- it's Federation Force! Burn it with fire! Well, I mean, this does take place after Federation Force, so, uh... Damn it! I guess you'll be good- I guess you'll be glad to know that everybody from Federation Force is probably dead now. Okay, Because cool. they died on this mission. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> They go to SR388, they find the Metroids, they die. I can't believe Metroid did a Halo Reach. <laughs> we know how it ended. <laughs> Praise the Metroid! So, uh, Council was like, hey, let's kill all the Metroids. And they're like, yeah, let's kill all the Metroids, they're too dangerous, so let's go kill all the Metroids. And Sam so was like, Ooh, okay, let's go kill the Metroids. That's badass. So, yeah, we're gonna go to planet SR388. Mm -hmm. There, We're gonna find all the Metroids there, of which yeah. we find that there are 40. Uh -huh. Kill them all, and then... Everything will be fine in the end. So how are they? Are, there are only 40 left. Yes. How? There... Because don't, th don't these things, like, breed after consuming? Well, that's that's why SR-380 is such a, you know, barren, desolate wasteland. Oh, because they ate everything. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, and th so that, that's why they're very secluded and very far-off regions, so that way life forms can't come in there and feed them. Mm-hmm. So what they have is just the paltry life that's left on this planet, and they're using that to evolve. Excuse me, Samus, can you pay the toll? Do you have a Mars bar or something else that these Metroids would want to eat? No, I have a Milky Way. Of course, this one has raw beef in it. <laughs> I wonder if you can, like, distract the Metroids with, like, beef sticks. <laughs> it's like, here you go, boy! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go for real now. Oh, that looks great. This is so much better. The gameplay is very different because you got free aim now. So you can just sit there and take pot shots and aim. Samus does not have a morph ball for some reason, but she does already have missiles. At least there's that. She's lost everything else. I mean, I don't know what happens from game. To, I don't know what happens from game to game. I mean, did, did she like get an important call while she was in her apartment? And it's just like, oh shit, I gotta run. Maybe she was retired for so long. That's another new mechanic that they'll show you later. Is the uh, melee counter? You can now hit things to try to, to charge at you. <laughs> a lot of these enemies are charge happy fuckwits. Charge happy fuckwits. Is that a verb? I'm coining that term. Okay. Adjective maybe. Charge happy fuckwits. I like it. You can't have that as the episode title, by the way. I cannot, no. No. Well, why did this Metroid video get demonetized? Well, <laughs> charge happy fuckwits. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you think it's charge. Whoa, fuck him. That is a great mechanic that I am horrifically bad at. It takes a lot of practice, but there is a sound cue that you learn to just, just hear. Oh. Maybe that's why I was really yeah. bad at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rip in peace, Federation Force. You have to pay respects. Now shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just one in the brain. So if you didn't figure it out yet... Ew. These <laughs> things exclusively charge at you, and you just press X to fuck out of here, and then you can shoot him a whole bunch. See, I like this mechanic. It seems like every enemy does that, though. They, like, a they want of, you to get really good at it. Yeah, a lot of them do. Oh, and that free aim, you can do some amazing things. Yeah. Like, like sit over here and just take pot-tops before they yeah. can even charge at you. Precisely. At least she already has the long beam. Oh, that's also good. So she didn't leave home without, like, her car keys or something like that. She at least kept the long beam and the missiles. This might be an acoustic set, but I don't know. I figured you want to take the morph ball, the thing that you're, you know, most known for. Does it auto-aim? 
Uh, After you do a melee? I don't... maybe it does? I mean, m it, maybe the game assumes that I want to shoot that thing first and foremost, which I definitely do. Yeah, it kind of does! Well, that's neat. Fuck out of here. Man, fuck out of here. <laughs> Whoa! Oop. I fell through there. What do you think this refills? Uh, everything. Safe station, right? Ammo! Oh, just ammo. Just ammo. Oh, that's good. I'm glad the technology of SR388 considered, you know, women with arm cannons. That's a cool thing about uh, Samus going through Chozo Ruins. There's a l there's always cool stuff for her. Because they real I, I think the lore is that the Chozo realized that the Metroids were far too much to handle, so they left a lot of these statues around in the hopes that a warrior who uses the power suit well will come in and take them and help stop the Metroids. For one lone warrior. Yeah, and hey, here's a morph ball. Oh, hey. Ooh, that's nice. I think that's ripped from Metroid Prime. They they, they use a lot of Prime, uh, a lot of Metroid Prime sounds. Hey, it was good. Like, like when you get a... Like when you uh, uh, solve the puzzle of like getting all the Metroids in, mm -hmm. in a place. And when you get a, a, a missile upgrade. Alright. So we have the morph ball, but no bombs. No bombs yet. Okay, so this is the equivalent of, like, her leaving without her favorite stick of gum. Yep, that's Metroid Prime! <laughs> Maybe she's a little jaded and just like, yeah, I don't, I don't need to worry about that <laughs> kind of thing. Missile upgrades only give you three in this game as well. Hmm. I thought it was a hard mode thing, but it turns out it's, it's all difficulties. That's because there's a lot of them, and this game doesn't really focus so much on uh, item collection. Okay, this is, this is strictly a speed game, but if you want to get all the lore and all the Chozo memories at the end of the game so you can figure out what really happened, you gotta get 100% for that. Oh, uh, okay. And that's what we're doing today, because there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this in four fucking hours! Is it for artwork, or is it for something else? It's just a simple ending screen. It's, it's, oh, okay. it's not worth it. Show me what you got! Now this mechanic has shown a lot better. I didn't get that far in the Metroid 2, but... You're just gonna walk along and you'll find a thing that has hurdy water. This is very hurdy water. Mm-hmm. That hurdy water won't recede until you kill all the Metroids in the area, and we can see from here... Ah. There is one. Wait. Oh, we need to kill one in order to move on. Yep, we need to kill one Metroid in order to move on. Okay. Really? <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Now, uh, I realized there at the bottom screen, 40 Metroids instead of 39. Yes. They added an extra one. They added an extra one. That's the power of the 3DS compared oh, to the yes. Game Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus! Uh, what happened here? A lot of dead Federation dudes. They got fucked the fuck up by something. Oh, they fed a Metroid, didn't they? And here is a brand new mechanic that they added to Metroid 2. Cutscenes. Not, well, that too. But they also added... Uh... Yum! Aeon! Aeon? This is Scan Pulse. Ooh! The map is different in this game because there are no secrets anymore. Wait, what? There are no more secrets. Oh. Everything is... like, what you see is what there is. Interesting. So there's nothing hiding in the walls or anything like that? Nope. No stuff hides in the walls, but there's no, like, secret areas, you know, the green parts in, like, oh, Zero Mission. Oh, okay. So, it, the map is laid out like the original Metroid 2. Right. So, you can you have Aeon, which gives you the certain special abilities. The first one they give you is Scan Pulls, where you just hit A, and the entire map is revealed, as well as any breakable blocks. Oh, that's cool. So it costs a little bit of Aeon. That's cool, though. It is cool. It's very cool. That, it's cool ass. Oh, that's very cool. Come up here. Here's a here's a mechanic that they d didn't really tell you about. Yeah, get the fuck. Get, getting hit off a ledge. Or? Oh yes. Okay. The Hayabusa jump, as I like to call it on my channel. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, 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 no! Stop! 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 Stop, stop! Stop! Okay. All right, we're good. Those guys did a lot of damage. They did. Imagine how bad it is on hard mode. Yeah, weren't, weren't you telling me, uh, yeah, one of the first enemies took me down to 11 health or something like that? That was fusion mode. Oh. Fusion mode is a goddamn nightmare. <laughs> I'm not even gonna <laughs> attempt it. 
When a Metroid is nearby, your suit will start clicking. Oh. Because sure enough... No! Oh, I'm getting right to it. Ugh. This Metroid game has the most Metroids in it. And then it just fucks off. Well, we gotta go follow it now. So we can we can use <laughs> amiibos now. You can use amiibos to unlock certain artworks. You can refill some things. We'll get to that later. But right now we just gotta get moving okay. on here. A uh, little tip for everybody: when it comes here, go left. Why? Because there's a missile upgrade. Oh, that wasn't on the map, was it? It was. Oh, it was. Oh yeah, I see it now. So we fill the ammo just to make sure that we're in fighting shape here. <laughs> For some reason, I, I get the imagery that the Chozo left one gag one, like it does an electric shock instead of actually refills your missiles. <laughs> wah, wah. Bunch of pranksters, those Chozo. No, oh, <laughs> silly birds. <laughs> oh, more oh, dead is, Federation dudes. Yeah, it is close. Just imagine if the Metroids had to fight for dominance, and this was just one hungry Metroid that took out all the Federation dudes. I love the taste of humans. <laughs> oh, shit. God, she's gonna need a back brace from Damn the way it. you're playing. There. Just have her turn all the way around. <laughs> that was her missile upgrade. Oh! Wow, we already have 36 missiles. Wow. Ooh, I like that. So on the bottom screen, the Metroid symbol is flashing. Yep. Here is your uh -oh. save. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -huh. yep. It's right here. It's about to get. It's about to get crazy, uh, dude. It's right here, dude. Kill that Metroid. We're gonna make good of the uh, little gag we had first. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna kill this Metroid. The baby. Oh, the baby's not born yet. Uh oh. This is an adolescent. Oh! That's an Alpha Metroid! Ah! Kill it! Come here. Oh! Oh, ew. And it's dead. Oh, well, okay. More, more bark than bite, really. I have intake in Metroid DNA. So that's all set. Now let's get out of here. Oh, that's it. Yep, we got we got our one Metroid. We already got our ammo back. I'm just too good at this game. There we go. E-Tank. E-Tank, that's good. Get us started out. And here, it's charge beam. Perfect. Yeah. Oh crap, this series will be done in like three minutes. <laughs> uh, got the charge beam, we got one E-Tank. Well, we're gonna have to backtrack a lot in this game. Every uh, yeah. single area in this game we will have to come back to at the end of the game. Sweet. Every single, even this one. Uh, you see you see that circle on the, on the upper left there? Yeah. We can't get that unless we get a power, or a super yeah. missile or something. Yeah! I we love... can't get this over here. Oh, okay. Da -da oh. Cool. Do you think we'll ever do the primes? Well, I said if I ever get 5,000 subscribers, we'll do them. Oh, okay. Because I love the prime games. I love three more than. I love three the most. See, I never finished Metroid Prime 1. I got really far, and then I got lost. I never I never finished one or two, because it, it, it kept asking me to backtrack too many times, and I think I just got lost in the nebula that is Metroid Prime 2. <laughs> Yeah, Metroid Prime 2 is an interesting beast. It's a beautiful game, though, and I love it to death. Introduction of Dark Samus, I think. Yep. Yep. Actually, Introduction of Dark Samus was at the end of Metroid Prime 1, if you get 100%. <gasps> Phase on! Because then the, the the ruins of Metroid Prime start to come back because it absorbed all of uh, Samus's power suit, and now it's coming back to life! Uh-oh. So you just uh, jam your power beam in here, it takes the DNA from the Metroids and go, Oh, yep, that one's dead. All right, let me just go ahead and drain this water, oh, then you good, can keep going good down. Oh, God. The original, when you kill your last Metroid for the area, you just hear a strange rumbling vaguely somewhere, and then that means it's time to move on. Oh, that, see, I, I really like Game Boy games, nice bite-sized games in the palm of your hand. 
But some of them were really bad at conveying messages. Yeah, especially Metroid 2. Like, there was supposed to be, like, a DX version, but I think I think they did yeah, away with it because yeah. nobody liked Metroid 2. <laughs> I mean, it, this seemed like an interesting game, and it was one of the... I don't want to say one of the first Game Boy games, but no. it was one of the Game Boy games that had save feature. Yeah. So one of the cool things is that this is kind of like Metroid Prime 3. This is a fast travel system. Oh, thank God. Yes. Oh, thank God. Yes. Oh, that makes me happy. I'm so happy we got that. Because Metroidvanias have kind of, uh, you know, evolved since 1991. I'm so happy they've evolved. There's no reason why we can't update the formula somewhat. Yes. These rocks right here. This is the reason we have to backtrack so long. We can't clear these until literally right before the end of the game. So right before what? we're about to finish the game, we gotta come all the way through here and get and get these so we can get the <laughs> upgrades. Because if we look at the scan pulse here, there's an upgrade behind there. There's one up there too that we also can't get. An upgrade? Oh yeah. Ah. We, we can't we can't get any of these. Well, mi uh, missile upgrade, you know, whatever you want to call this it. This game sucks. I know. <laughs> these things I can only like, kill with rockets. But Oh, there we go. I don't think I can do anything up here. Nope. Oh, you can't wall jump that? No, I gotta get the high jump boots for that. Oh. We can't. We don't get those until area two. Spoilers. Nope. Nope. That. That's what I want to do. There. <laughs> that guy missed his mark by a <laughs> mile. Yeah. He's, he's like, did. I'm gonna get you, Samus. Oh. So now we're gonna leave the surface and head to the first area of SR388. And the frame rate takes a bit of a dip as I, it loads I, the next I area. noticed, yeah. It's, it's, um, okay, all right. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, there we are. Beautiful. All right. I gotta make our way to the save point, which is just... Whoa, ah. hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Easy there, right. fellas. Okay. There, there's enough Samus Aran to go around. We're a little excited, I know, but let's just try and keep, right, try and keep a hold of ourselves here, see, yeah? See, this is their first house guest in, like, ever. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. They want to be extremely hospitable. They do. All right, we'll and save here. Boom. The next time on Metroid Samus Returns, Area 1. Save complete. I love how she's defragging her system right there with all the flashing lights. Maybe it's just a disco party in her head. Disco party! Woo! She already has the laser pointer. Disco! Yeah!